Okay, guys, we are going to start by warming up our pan. We're going to cook our chicken breast first. So I'm just going to add some oil to the pan, probably about two tablespoons. You don't need a whole lot of oil. You're just going to pan fry um, your chicken breast. I'm going to season it with this spicy Tony um, Creole seasoning. It's just going to give it a little kick. It's a little spicier than the regular, of course, um, Creole seasoning by Tony. And I'm just kind of massaging in the seasoning, spreading it around, and then I'm gonna flip the chicken over and season the other side as well. And guys, this is just what I decided to season my meat with. You don't have to use this. You can use seasoned salt. You can use just some garlic powders, onion powder, salt and pepper, whatever you like. Now that our oil is hot, we're just going to place the chicken breast in the pan. I'm just going to cook it until it gets nicely browned on both sides. So probably about four to five minutes on each side. Alright guys, so my chicken breasts are ready and I'm going to sit them to the side. Now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter to my pan. Just gonna let that melt down. And to this, I am going to be adding some garlic, some minced garlic. And we're gonna roughly add about a tablespoon. I'm 
gonna add a cup of chicken broth. And now I'm just going to scrape around the bottom of my pan to get all that goodness up from when I make when I fry my chicken. That's just going to give your sauce some little flavor. I have my noodles already cooking guys so I've been I already I boiled some water I tossed my noodles in there they're just about ready to come out I'm just gonna let them cook for about a minute or so more And this is just some angel hair pasta, guys. I just bought some angel hair pasta to put in it. So now to my pan, I'm going to be adding a cup of heavy cream. All right guys, I just drained my noodles and set them to the side. I didn't want them to overcook. Now I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. I had the shredded kind, so that's what I'm going to be adding to it. I'm roughly going to put in um, maybe close to a cup, maybe about a cup of sh uh, the shredded Parmesan cheese. Just gonna stir that in good. 
this shredded Parmesan cheese, it tries to like kind of lump up on you. You just gotta keep stirring your sauce. And I turned my sauce down, guys. I think you saw that. Um, I just turned it down to a low medium. I had it on a medium, closer to a medium high before. Add a little parsley in there. And like I said, just keep stirring it. It'll thicken up and get nice and creamy for you. Alright guys, so while this simmers, I'm going to cut my chicken into small strips. And these are not very thick chicken breast guys so it didn't that's why it didn't take very long to cook through these are cooked all the way through and you don't have to do this step this is just my preference so I usually cut it into small strips you can keep them whole if you prefer it that way it's too, totally up to the cook it's not going to make the dish taste any different. There you go. So it's all cut up and ready to go in. So now, guys, I'm just going to allow this the sauce to simmer a bit. And then I will come back and we'll put everything together. All right, guys, so now I have let the sauce thicken up a bit. As you can see, it's a little thicker than what it was before. So now it's ready for us to put everything together. So now I'm gonna take my noodles. And guys, I have my noodles sitting to the side too long. They kind of like got stuck together a little bit because of that but they're not um it's just fine it's just because they were sitting to the side for longer than I thought I would have them sitting so the sauce would just loosen that all back up And as you can see, they're, they're already loosened back up. It's, they're just fine. I'm 
just getting them all mixed in there good so all that good sauce gets all over my pasta. Now we're going to add our chicken into the pasta. And I'm just going to mix them in a little, I'm not totally submerging them into the pasta. That's why I said it really doesn't matter if you slice them or not, unless you just want to completely toss it into the pasta. Um, you probably would want to slice it up, but it's up to the cook. So guys, I'm going to put this on the plate and show you what it looks like when we serve it. All right, guys, so there's the finished product. I just added some more of that shredded Parmesan cheese on top and a little bit of parsley flakes. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight, actually. So there you go, guys. Recipe for creamy garlic chicken Parmesan. It's so easy to make and it's really very quick to make. So I hope you like this video, guys. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.